What you are about to witness is the most intense game show ever created. What makes it so intense? Look what I'm standing next to. Now, in many of the greatest action films of all time, the most exciting moment is when the hero has to defuse a ticking bomb by cutting the right wire. Well, in the game you're about to see, we create that moment with every single question. Get ready for Boom. Welcome to Boom! The premise of the game is very simple. Each one of these bombs represents a question. The wires on the bombs represent the possible answer. And if a team can cut all the right answers, they win $500,000. But if they cut the wrong answer, the bomb goes boom. It could be chili, mustard, chopped liver, these bombs have a mind of their own. Are you ready to meet our first team? Coming to us all the way from New Jersey is a family that has pizza sauce running through their veins. Please welcome Mary, Carmine, and Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, how are you? Nice to see you guys. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourselves. You are? Michelle. Michelle. I'm the aunt. I'm Carmine. Carmine. I'm a nephew. And I'm Mary, and this is brother and sister. My sister and I own a pizzeria in Jersey City, New Jersey. Awesome. New Love Jersey. Jersey City. You're from New Jersey? Yeah, that's right. New Jersey. Jersey. Right? Absolutely. And I have two sons, Michael, who's 10, and Nicholas, who's 7. I hear those little guys are famous. They're famous. They've been all over the country, spinning pizza dough, doing tricks, entertaining oh. people. It's really awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Amazing, right? Yeah. Amazing. That is really great. Thank you. This is good. We're going to win some money today. Here's what you're up against. You've got six bombs. Each one is worth more and more money. Every bomb represents a question. Every wire represents an answer. To defuse the bombs and bank the cash, you need to cut all the right answers. But every bomb has a wrong wire. Do not cut that wire. If you do, boom. Oh, boy. The player that cuts it is out, and the cash is gone forever. And if your team blows up three bombs, mm. the game's over, okay. and you go back to New Jersey with nothing. Uh, but we don't not, want that to happen. Not, no, that's no, not going to happen. No, no. Because if you make it through all six, you'll have a chance to take on the mega money bomb, where you multiply your winnings into an absolute fortune. We want the mega that's bomb. That's what you want. If you play bomb. it right, that could be worth half a million dollars. Thank you. Let's take a look at the category for bomb number one. Business. Now, keep in mind, each one of you must try and defuse at least one bomb, so choose okay. wisely on who's going to pick up the cutters for the first category. You know what? You do all yes. the books. You do all the behind the work stuff. I this do. is all you. All, all right. you. All right. You're going to do it? Yeah, do it. All right, Mary's going to take on business. You guys wait on the sidelines. Come on, come on, come on. All right, you ready, Mary? I'm ready. Bring up bomb number one. Here we go. Bomb one, loaded. All right. Goggle up. Never sure what's going to come out of these bombs. It could be anything. Cream corn, spaghetti. It could be hair gel. I have no idea. If you notice the people out here, the poncho people, I, I like to call them. This is our splatter zone. Okay. They get hit, too. So if you blow it up, it's not just you that's okay. getting in trouble. It's the splatter zone. Make sure your I'm goggles sorry, are on. sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, each of these colored wires represents a possible answer. Yes. Three of them are correct. Okay. One of them is wrong. Okay. All you have to do is cut the three correct answers. We're putting $5,000 in your bank. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, Donald Trump. Okay. Blue, Bill Gates. Okay. Yellow, Steve Jobs. Okay. Green, Russell Simmons. Do you recognize any of those? Mm. One yeah. or two of them. All right. Okay. okay. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Make sure you defuse this bomb before it gets to zero, or okay. this will explode. All I need you to do is cut the three correct answers for $5,000 to this question. Okay. Of these moguls, which three dropped out of college? 
talk it out. Okay, so three of them dropped out of college. I don't know who went to college and who didn't go to college, but I'm going to start with the green. I'm going to start with the green just to do an elimination. Okay. I'm not really sure who Russell Simmons is, though. Okay, cutting green, Russell Simmons. Three, two, one. Correct. Okay. We've got 15 seconds. Move a little right. quicker. So I'm not really sure about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, but I'm going to go with blue. Bill Gates. Coming blue, Bill Gates. Three, Did he drop out two, of college? One. Correct. Oh. Great job. Five seconds. You've got to come quickly. Four seconds. Three seconds. Cut it. Cutting Steve Three, Jobs. Yellow. Two, one. Diffuse. You like to live dangerously. <laughs> you killed it. Great job. Thank you. You got one bomb down. Five more to go for the mega money bomb. Let's go to your team. The business mogul. <laughs> All right. We're moving along. We're going up to the $10,000 bomb now. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at the category for bomb number two. Animated film. Oh, you you know got what? kids. I got, I got three kids all day. All day. This is all right, it. Carmine's going to take on animated film. Let's go, buddy. Bring up bomb number two. Come on up, yep. Bomb two loaded. Goggle up. This bomb is worth twice as much, $10,000. There's still four wires on the bomb. Three are correct, only one is wrong. The possible answers are red, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Blue, Shrek. Yellow, Toy Story. Green, How to Train Your Dragon. Have you seen any of these movies? I've seen them all, man. So if this blows up, I'm going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here are your cutters. All I need you to do is cut the three correct answers to this question. You got it. Of these movies, which three are based on books? Talk it out. Okay, so um, I'm going to say uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is based on a book. Here we okay. go. Okay. Red. Red. red, Cloudy Three, with a Chance of Meatballs. Two, one. Come on, Carmine. Correct. Good job. Yeah. 20 seconds left. All right, here we go. Uh, Disney, Toy Story, Yellow, I'm going. Cutting Yellow, Toy Three, Story. Was it two, a book? One. Toy Story, yellow, I'm going. Cutting yellow, Toy Three, Story, was it two, a book? One. My kids hate me right now. Contestant, fair. Tomato sauce. Carmine, pizza sauce all over the place. It ain't the first time, Tom. It's not oh, the first time. man, I don't like being friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story was inspired by an Oscar-winning short film called Tin Toy. Oh. Uh, now I know. Now you all know. Right. Thank you. But it's all right. It's only one bomb. Let's go back to the girls. Watch the pizza sauce. I got it, too. I know. Carmine has blown up the first bomb. Yeah. The yeah. pizza sauce bomb. We both took it. Give me a little dough and cheese. I'll make a pizza. <laughs> yeah. It was a little messy, but it was only the first bomb. All right? So we're going to focus. And the last one. I like that, Michelle. This next one coming up is worth $15,000. All right. Let's get this. Right. Let's take a look at the category for bomb number three. Health. Oh, heavens. Help. Right. I'll take the Listen, help. I want to try help. I think you can do it. That's it, Michelle. Come on. Do it, Michelle. You're confident. Let's go. All right, Michelle's going to take on health. Bring up bomb number three. There you go. Loaded. All right, this bad boy is worth $15,000. Okay. It's a little bigger. The same amount of wires. Okay. Four possible answers. Three are correct. Only one of them is wrong. Here are your cutters. You feel good? I feel great. Feeling healthy? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, think about how you smell. Blue, wipe up sweat. Yellow, limit time on the cardio machine. 
green wear socks. All right, you've got 30 seconds on the clock. All I need you to do is cut the three correct answers to this question. Which three of these are do's of gym etiquette on emilypost.com? Talk it out. Which right. are do's? Definitely wear socks, green. Cutting green, green. wear socks. Two. One. Fail. Looks like pesto to me. The first Wear one. socks, the first one. You would think. I hate feet. I think wearing socks is a good thing to do. Wearing socks is not on emilypost.com's list of do's and don'ts. I'm so sorry. You're out of the game. The $15,000 is gone forever. You can still root your team on. It's all going to come down to Mary. All right, let's go over. Pesto sauce coming in. <laughs> How about you poncho people? Did you guys get hit on that? All right, we got pesto, we got marinara. I don't want to see cannoli. Oh no, I want to see money. That's all I want to see. All you have to do is get through bomb four, five, and six, and we're guaranteed to bring home some money. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. that. Let's do it. All right, bring up bomb number four. Right. Come on. Bomb four, loaded. It's a little bigger. There are more wires. There's still that. only one wrong wire. All okay. you have to do is cut the four correct answers, okay. and you'll add $20,000 to your bank. There's 40 seconds on the clock. You have a okay. little more time. Very good. Let's take a look at the category. Television. television. Okay. All right. All right. Television. I love television. You're on television. I'm on television. This is working out. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, All in the Family. Blue, Reba. Yellow, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Green, Married with Children. And purple, Frasier. Okay. All right. Have you seen any of these? I've seen all of them. You've seen all of them? Yes. That's good? A little. I've seen all of them a little. All of them a little. But it's in your brain. You got your cutters. You've got 40 seconds on the clock for $20,000. All you have to do is... He's cut the four correct answers to this question. Of these TV shows, which four had theme songs that were performed by stars of those shows? Okay. Talk it out. Okay. TV shows, which four had theme songs that were performed by the stars of those shows? So right. I'm going to do Blue for Reba because I know she sings her own. I'm going to okay. do Blue for Reba because I know she sings her own song. Cutting Blue for Reba. Three, two, one. Correct. There you go. Next one is going to be go. yellow. Yellow is going to be next because I know he sings his song also. Cutting Three, yellow, the fresh two, prince of Bel Air. One. Correct. Yes. There you go. Yes. My next one is going to be all in the left. family. My next one is going to be red, all in the family because I know she played the piano and sang the theme song. All right, Three. I'm going to stay okay. with you on that two, one. Yes. Cutting red, all in the one. family. Yes. Correct. Uh, yeah. 15 seconds. All you have to do is cut one more. Okay. Totally lost here. Frasier, I don't remember a theme song, Married with Children. Yes. But you know what? I'm gonna go with green. I'm gonna go with green, married Five with children. Seconds. Cutting green, married oh, no. with children. Two, one. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Team fail. The Alfredo sauce. Oh, man, I really was pulling for you guys. Married with Children's theme song was performed by Frank Sinatra, who was not the star of Love and Marriage, right? So sorry, guys. You're covered in stuff, but you look good. Looks like the Italian flag. <laughs> you guys look all right. All right, a big round of applause for Michelle, Carmine, and Mary. When we come back, we'll have another team and another chance at half a million dollars. Coming up, three backwards country boys have the crowd on their feet. But they've got the poncho people on the edge of their seat. It's a nail-biting game three, that will have everyone two, talking. One.
when Boom returns. Welcome back to Boom, everybody. This is the game where our contestants are hoping they get it right, and I know some of you are hoping they get it wrong. All right. Well, when it comes to finding the best teams to take on our bombs, we comb the country from one end to the other. And these guys prove it. They're lifelong friends from a tiny backwoods town in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Let's hear it from Matt, Tony, and Jared. Nice job. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, buddy. And you are youpers. That's right. right. And what does that mean? Explain what that means. So most people are familiar with Michigan. It's like a mitt, and you got Detroit here, but there's also an upper peninsula, uh -huh. the UP for short, and that's where they get the term youper. Tony, right here, you have a map, a, for, a map you. for you. Whoa. You got Iron so, Mountain right there. This is where we grew up. That's Iron Mountain. Looks kind of like a shark. Uh, that, most people say it's a shark, but um, <laughs> yes, it is a UP. Face. No, no, it's a yeah. Uber. <laughs> Definitely from the UP, so that's cool. That's so this view really means a lot to you to it have does, this tattooed yeah. Yeah. on yeah. your from body. There, What's up? it like growing up there? Is it like so? It's very rural. We came from a town of 8,000 people. It's wow. so rural, in fact, that deer hunting season we get two days off from school. <laughs> so you can go. To, you can go to deer camp. Oh, oh, that's pretty nice. I hear that we uh, have everybody from the Uper fan club here in the audience. If we could shine a light on those guys. There they are. One, two, there's three of them. There's three. That's all three of them. Uper strong. That's, that was our graduating class. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> half the population. So there's not a lot of people up there. So if you guys kill it today, right. and you take home $500,000. Everybody's rich. Everybody's rich. Yeah, we're, like, we're the richest people in the UP. Well, you guys know the rules, right? We do. Six bombs. Each one is worth more and more money. Every bomb represents a question. Every wire represents an answer. If you make it through all six, you face the mega money bomb. Yes! yes. Mega money! Mega money. If you play it right, that could be worth half a million dollars. Half a million! All right, you guys ready to win some money? Yeah. Feel good? Feel solid? All right. All right. Let's take a look at the category for bomb number one. Movies. Now remember, each one of you has to try and defuse at least one bomb, so choose wisely on who's gonna take which category. All right. Who's gonna grab the cutters first? You watch I go movies. to the movie theater every week. Every, I mean, I love yourself. It's, gonna, yeah, yeah, by myself, most so, of the time. It's kind of sad, but yeah, it's it cool. Is. We're gonna go with Matt. All right, Matt's gonna take our movies. You guys wait on the sidelines. One, two, three, you And let's bring up bomb number one. We got this. Come on! Bomb one, loaded. All right, goggle up, because we never know what's going to come out of these things. It could be barbecue sauce, it could be baby yeah. food, it could be beer. We have no idea. Hopefully beer. <laughs> your, your friends will just open their mouths. Yeah. And uh, if you look down here at these poncho people, this is... Good to see you guys. This is our splatter zone. Now, each four of these colored wires represents a possible answer. Okay. All right? You have to cut three correct answers. All right. One of them is wrong. You cut the three correct answers, we're putting $5,000 in your bank. All right, let's go! Let's take a look at the possible answers. Okay. Red, Lincoln. Blue, Aaron Barakovich. Yellow, Hitchcock. And green, Ray. Have you seen any of these movies? Familiar with any of these movies? I've seen most of them. Okay, good. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. All, All right. right. You have to defuse this bomb before 30 seconds or else this will go off, okay. all right? All I need you to do, cut the three correct answers to this question. Okay. Of these biographical feature films, which three had their original theatrical release most recently? Talk it out. All right, Lincoln with Daniel Day-Lewis, that was just in the last couple years. I'm pretty confident with that one, so I'm gonna cut the red wire now. Cutting red three, for Lincoln. Two, one. Correct. Good job. Yes! 22 seconds Ray, uh, Ray, uh, Ray I, uh, that was, I think I remember, I saw Ray, I mean, I know it was before Aaron Brockovich. 13 seconds. I'm gonna go with cutting green now. Cutting for green for Ray. Three, two, one. Correct. Yeah. Good job. One more. Aaron you got eight Hitchcock. seconds left. I think it's Hitchcock. It might be 
seconds. Send that right four seconds. Going for it. Yellow. Three now. seconds. Three, two, one. Diffuse. There you go. There you go. Five thousand dollars in the bank, just like that. In Thirty seconds. You got five thousand dollars. Aaron Brockovich was released way back in the year 2000. So you got one bomb down, five more to go before the mega money bomb. Let's see your power. Good job. That's the way you do it. Let's go. You did great. $5,000 in the bank. We're on our way. All right. The category for bomb number two is landmarks. Three guys that haven't left sure Upper Michigan talking sure about landmarks. <laughs> the internet, you get the internet. We have the internet kind of dial up. Yeah, I think I do. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Jared, you feel good? Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, All right Jared's going to take on landmarks. Let's bring up bomb number two. Two. All right, Jared. Loaded. There are your goggles. Goggle up. All right, now keep in mind, this bomb is now worth twice as much. This is worth $10,000, all right? $10,000. There's still four wires on the bomb. Three are correct. One is wrong. Let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, Big Ben. Blue, St. Peter's Basilica. Yellow, Stonehenge. And green, St. Paul's Cathedral. Familiar with these places? I am, yes. All right, good. Yes, I've definitely good. read about these places. Do any of them compare with the Upper Peninsula? No, not in beauty or majesty. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds on the clock. Remember, I need you to cut the three correct answers to this question. Of these famous landmarks, which three are located in the United Kingdom? Yeah, Talk it out. 30 okay. seconds on the clock. Big Ben is definitely the first one landmark in the UK. Red. Big ben. Red, Big Ben. Two, one. Correct. Good job. 22 seconds left. We got 22 seconds left. Okay. Keep going. Stonehenge. Keep going. Number two, yellow. Stonehenge is definitely in the UK. Cutting yellow. Stonehenge Three, for the UK. Two, one. Correct. Good job. Good job. All right. I think it's green. One more to cut. I'm pretty sure St. Peter's is in Italy and St. Paul's Ten is seconds. in the UK. Green, St. Paul's Cathedral. Three, two, one. Diffuse. $15,000. Just like that. You got $15,000 in the bank. Feeling good. Killing it. Feeling good. Good job. Yes. You're right. St. Peter's Basilica located in Vatican City. You've got two bombs down. Let's meet up with your team. Right. Yes! You guys are well on your way to getting to the mega money bomb worth half a million dollars. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're playing a great game. All right, let's take a look at the category for bomb number three. The category is driving. You're pretty mechanical, though. It could Green. be snowmobiles. Oh, snowmobiles. <laughs> it could be. Four-wheelers. <laughs> Four-wheelers. You got it. I got it. All right, you yeah. got it. Huh? All right, let's do it. Tony? Yeah. All right, Tony's taking on driving. Bring up bomb number three. Bomb three. Bomb three. Loaded. This bomb is worth $15,000. It's the same deal, though. Four possible answers on here. All I need you to do is cut three correct. Stay away from the wrong one. You'll be fine. Let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, yield sign. Blue, one-way sign. Yellow, school crossing sign. Green, speed limit sign. Have you seen any of these signs? I think I have. Um... Yeah, we don't have many signs in Iron Mountain, but <laughs> I've seen them in other bigger cities. You've got 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. All I need you to do is cut the three correct answers to this question. Of these standard U.S. road signs, which three have the least number of sides, according to the Federal Highway Administration? Talk it out. $15,000. Okay. So my first one's going to be a uh, one-way sign has four sides. I'm going to go with that one. So that is blue cutting now. Cutting blue, one-way sign. Two, one. Correct. Great job. Okay, 20 seconds left. 
Speed limit sign side. also has four sides, so I'm going to go with that. Cutting green. Cutting oh. green. Speed Three, limit sign. Two, one. Correct. Great job. The yield size, I know only has three sides. I'm not 100% sure on school crossing. I'm going to cut yellow just because yield has three. Four seconds. Cutting, well, cutting three, yellow, school crossing two, sign for $15,000. The maple syrup bomb. You got tagged with the maple syrup bomb. Tone, school crossing is a five-sided pentagon. I'm so sorry you're out of the game. You can still hang in there and root for your team. That's a There's a lot more money to be won. When we come back, the Upper Peninsula boys are going to take it right here on Boom. Oh. Tony and Jared. Tony's blown up one bomb, but they have $15,000 in the bank. Yes! Yeah. All right, you guys are still dry and still yeah, playing for more money. Away. You're doing fine. And it's kind of funny. He looks kind of funny. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the category for bomb number four. The category is food. What's the matter, Jared? I, I may be most qualified for that. <laughs> this is a no-brainer. No, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I got All right, it. Jared's taking on food. Bring up bomb number four. Bomb four loaded. All right, the bomb's a little bigger. Yes. There's more wires. Yes. But there's still only one wrong answer. But we're adding more time. There's 40 seconds on the clock. Yes. All right? You defuse All right. this bomb, we're adding $20,000 to your bank. Yes! It's a big bomb. Yeah, Let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, strawberry. Blue, peach. Yellow, lemon. Green, orange. And purple, raspberry. Have you uh, tasted any of these? I think I'm very well versed in all varieties of them. <laughs> <laughs> all I need you to do is cut the four correct answers. Four correct. To this question. When Jello was first introduced, which four of these were its original flavors? Talk it out. Original flavors. Okay, I think strawberry is pretty much the go-to. That's uh, red strawberry. Okay. Everyone loves strawberry. Cutting red strawberry. Three, two, one. Correct. Great job. Okay. Orange, orange. 42 seconds left. Orange is another one. Green. Green for orange. I'm going with orange on that one. Cutting green. Three, two, one. Correct. Nice yeah. job. Okay, citrus. Let's nice say job. citrus. Lemon. Lemon, 22 yellow. 22 seconds left. Lemon, yellow. Cutting lemon, yellow. Three, two, one. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with raspberry. I'm a big raspberry guy. Who doesn't love raspberry? Cutting purple Three, raspberry for $20,000. Diffuse. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. There you go. $35,000 in the bag. Yes. <laughs> Let's go back to your team. How about that? Look at Jared. Mr. Fu, now you're stepping up to the $25,000 bomb. You feel good? You feel centered? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, great. I feel great. Right? <laughs> you looks feel good. great. It looks good. All right, let's take a look at the category for bomb number five. Celebrity. Jared, I mean, with... We've watched so, much, so many movies, but yeah, he has two, I feel like two kids. Wife, I feel like you're more... Oh, my wife does watch a lot of the celebrity shows. My dog if doesn't. only she was here. <laughs> right. I'll do it. Okay. You're going to do it? I'm doing it. Jared's taking on celebrities. Bring up bomb number five. Bomb five. No Things thing. are getting even more difficult. There are now more wires. There's still only one wrong answer. You need to cut five correct answers, and there's 50 seconds on the clock. Yes. If you do, you'll have another $25,000 in your bank. Yeah. All right? Yeah. 
Let's take a look at the possible answers. Red, Beyonce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blue, Britney Spears. Yellow, Justin Timberlake. Green, Tina Fey. Okay. Purple, Dave Chappelle. Orange, Drew Carey. All right. All right. Oh. Are you familiar with any of these performers? All of them, yes. All of them? Yes. All right, that's good. All I need you to do is cut the five correct answers to this question. Which five of these future celebrities appeared as contestants on the talent show Star Search? Talk right. it out. All right. Okay, number one, I know Britney Spears, I think, was on everything. Okay. So I'm going to go with blue, Britney Spears. Cutting blue, Britney Spears. Three, two, one. Correct. Nice job. 40 seconds Justin left. Timberlake, Justin great. Timberlake, yellow. Similar, he, he was on everything as well. Cutting yellow, Justin Three, Timberlake. Two, one. Correct. Good yes. job, yes, you will. Beyonce, Beyonce. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds I'm left. Go red, got Beyonce. Three more to cut. Red, Beyonce. Cutting red, Beyonce. Three, two, one. Correct. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Two more to cut. Orange, Drew Carey. Cutting orange, Drew Carey. There were a lot. Three. Two, one. Correct. Yes. Yes. All right. One and more. Dave Chappelle. Seconds Dave left. Chappelle is a comedian. Left. A lot of comedians on um, Star Search. Right. I think Tina Fey was more of a writer. Seconds left. So we're going to go with Dave Chappelle wherever Cutting he is. Purple Dave Chappelle. Cut it. You got six seconds. Three, two, one. A lot of comedians on um, Star Search. Right. I think Tina Fey was more of a writer. Seconds left. So we're going to go with Dave Chappelle, wherever Cutting. he is. Purple Dave Chappelle. Cut it. You got six seconds. Three, two, one. Diffuse. No! to the mega money bomb. Let's go back to your pal. Yes! Yes! How about that? <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Here we go. You guys have $60,000 in your bank. Yes! That's big. We have a $50,000 bomb coming yes! up right now. You need to nail this next bomb because if you add that to the bank, that's it. what's going to quadruple if you take on the mega money bomb, okay? All right. All right. This is big. All right. So wish you could play. <laughs> All right. The category He's for bomb moment. number six is fashion. Oh. What is fashion in the Upper Peninsula? Uh, 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 Carhartt, winter hat, blazer, uh, a flannel, uh, okay. flannel shirt, uh, camouflage. All right. Who's going to take the cutters on this one? You diffused three. three. You diffused one. one. You want a piece of it? It's up to you. It's up. I'll do whatever. Go for it. All right. I got Let's it. Go. Let's go. You gonna do it, Matt? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Matt's taking on fashion. Bring up bomb Let's number go, six. Bomb six. Loaded. There's a lot of wires. There's a lot of stuff. But there's still only one wrong answer. You have a full minute. 60 seconds on the clock. All right. You ever make 50 grand in 60 seconds? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's gonna be another $50,000 in your bank. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the possible answers. They are red, strappy go lucky. Blue, trust your thin stinks. Yellow, boosty yay. Green, thongs of joy. Yes. Purple, undetectable. Orange, hide and sleek. And white, skinny britches. Thought provoking. Yeah. Yeah. You look a little, uh, a little freaked out. Taking it all in. Yeah. All right. You got it, Matt. Lots of Stay cool. Yeah. There's yeah. one wrong answer. All you have to do is cut the six correct answers to this question for $50,000. Which six of these are real names of collections sold by Spanx? Talk it out. Oh, boy. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, 
undetectable. Common sense your way through. You I mean, can I'm going to the underwear type of thing. Right. I'm going to go uh, purple. Cunning purple. Three, undetectable. Two, one. Correct. Good job. Yeah. 45 seconds. All right. Keep going. Uh, along those lines, thongs of joy, another underwear. Thongs of joy. Three, Cutting green. Two, thongs of joy. One. Bomb! Oh man! Oh, your thinking seems so right. Yeah. Thongs of joy. Spanx does no not idea. make a collection called Thongs of Joy, no but one. all of the rest are real. Okay, we blew it up. That was your second explosion, but we're still alive. We still have a chance to take on the Mega Money Bomb. Yes. All right, come out here, boys. Come on. I should have known it was all but the. Most risque. Yeah, no, you can hug that me. was hard. Yeah. All right, look. You can, now you can finally hug. You played a fantastic game. You now have sixty thousand dollars in your bank, but you also have a huge decision to make. You can walk away with that money right now, or you can take on the mega money bomb for a chance to quadruple that sixty thousand dollars to a total of two hundred and forty thousand dollars. But I have to warn you, the mega money bomb is no joke. It's the most difficult challenge of all, and it's waiting below us right now. There are 10 wires on this bomb. That's 10 possible answers, but only seven of them are correct. That means three are wrong, all right? It's a minefield. But here's the good news. If you play the mega money bomb for the first time, all three of you get to play at once. That's three brains instead of one. Plus. You'll have 90 seconds on the clock. And the best part, even if you get it wrong, I'll guarantee you half of what you have in your bank right now, that's $30,000 you'll take home. All right? To help you make the decision, here's your category for the mega money bomb. Sports. So what's it going to be? Are you going to walk away or stay in play? I mean, we're all good, we're all good at sports. I mean, we grew up loving sports. Hockey, football, baseball, basketball. I think we got it. I think we'll do it. Let's Stay go and play. Let's yeah. go. Stay and play. You guys are incredible. That's yeah. awesome. When we come back, we're playing for two hundred and forty thousand dollars right here on Boom. Tony and Jared have clawed and scratched their way through six bombs. They've got $60,000 in the bank. And they've decided to take on one last challenge, the Mega Money Bomb. If you conquer this Mega Money Bomb, your bank skyrockets to $240,000. If it explodes, your money dives down to $30,000. Now, I told you, this was a big bomb. But there's another thing. Not only are there more wires, not only is there more goop, but there's also a lot of money in here. So you're either leaving here like with a money. suitcase full of cash or the worst dry cleaning bill you've ever had. Who's going to be in charge of the cutters? I will cut. All right. I have Garrett. a dry hand. Dry hand. Good man. Remember, we've got 90 seconds on the clock this time. Goggle up and we'll take a look at the possible answers. Red, St. Louis Rams. Blue, New Orleans Saints. Yellow, San Francisco 49ers. Green, Green Bay Packers. Yes. Purple, Miami Dolphins. Orange, Washington Redskins. White, Jacksonville Jaguars. Pink, Chicago Bears. Da Bears. <laughs> Gold, Dallas Cowboys. And platinum, Oakland Raiders. All right, you are 90 seconds away from $240,000. You've got the Uber fan club out there rooting for you. All you have to do 
is cut the seven correct answers All right. to this question. Of these NFL franchises, which seven were worth more than $1 billion as of 2013, according to Forbes? Talk it out. Gold Dallas, gold Dallas Cowboys. They're worth the most, I believe. Cutting gold. Three, Dallas two, Cowboys. One. Correct. Yeah. Good job. Redskins. Good job. Redskins. Washington Redskins. Many Washington Redskins. Left. Three, two, one. Correct. Yes. San Francisco 49ers. Yellow. 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 San Francisco 49ers. Three, two, one. Correct. Chicago Bears. Yeah. Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears, pink. Cutting pink. Pink. Chicago, Chicago Bears. Bears. Three, two, one. Correct. Yeah, it's got to be Green Bay, don't you think? Saints. One the left. Saints. I'm going to go with Saints. Saints. You, uh, Super Bowls. Okay. They've won Super Bowls recently. They Saints. 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 Worth more than a billion dollars. Billion dollars. Cutting blue. <laughs> blue. Saints. Three, two, one. Correct. Good job. Good job. Miami. 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 I think it's Green Bay. Miami. I think it's Green Bay. Miami. I think it's Green Bay. Green? You don't think it's Green Bay? Green? Uh, Miami. You don't think it's Green Bay? We got 45 seconds. It's Green seconds. Bay. It's Green. Cutting Green Bay. Green Bay. Cutting Green. Green Bay Packers for the Upper Peninsula. Three, two, one. Correct. Yeah. Nice yeah. shot. One more to cut. You don't think it's Oakland? No, 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 no. Dude, they're no good. Miami Dolphins. One more to cut. It's Miami. We've got 25 okay. seconds left. What do you think? It's Miami. 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 Worth more than a billion dollars. Miami's a big market. It's Miami. Right, yeah, you're right. It's the biggest it's market. It's the biggest market. market. It's an international market. city. I mean, 17 here, seconds Miami. left. Miami. Let's just go for it. Welcome to Miami. Cutting, Welcome cutting to Miami. Cutting purple Miami Dolphins for $240,000. Three, two. One. Diffuse. Next week, two teams of longtime friends take on the bombs of Boom. They've got the moves and the muscle, but only one team has what it takes to face the mega money bomb. Who will it be? Find out on the next Boom.